for a long time. I've been hustling in the game. And they tell me don't change and don't try to maintain. I'm not trying to win the Grammy. I grind to feed my family. I'm trapping while I'm rapping, but these folks don't understand me. For a long time, I've been hustling in the game. And they tell me don't change and don't try to maintain. I'm not trying to win the Grammy. I grind to feed my family. I'm trapping while I'm rapping, but these folks don't understand me. It's a blessing to be in position. What it feel like I'm living my wishes. I could be dead or stuck in a cell. Cold to the world, rejecting the visit. Those are my feels, but while I'm here, I'm glued to the grind. I'm trying to get it. The weight on my back was holding me down, but I turn around, start pushing and pushing. 3 WJIZ, home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. 229 is that time. Home team takeover show is on the radio right about now. Got my man Spade in the building. Yeah. Now, now see what's up, Alvin, and what's up? I gotta say big shouts out to Street Dreams too, man. Yeah, uh, Street coming Dreams. through one top of my man, squeeze in the building in the background, checking us out. <laughs> Join the show from the sideline, checking us out. Where do we start, player? First of all, I wanna oh, say thanks for uh, taking some time out of your schedule. I wanna say to thanks for having me on. Man, you already know, dog. It's been a long time. So let's just start right there. Let's start at the, at the very beginning of the, uh, of, of the of the situation, I would say, you know what I mean? Yeah, First time I can remember, like, I feel like I've known you all my life, honestly. It's been a while, it's been years. So actually, long how long is, like, what's your first, like, what's your first memory? Now, I know mine, I'll tell you mine in a few minutes, but uh, as far as you, you know what I'm saying, what's your first uh, memory? Oh, my first memory, is it, I, it has to be, wow, late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mount Zion, South Side. Yeah. Small bedroom apartment, me and K Flame making music. Yeah. Uh, you came through to get some beats for commercials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is 2003. Yeah. That was yep. one of the songs. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So, I what's your memory? I've been a fan of uh, ever since then. Honestly, mine would be, uh, I would say, back when I was doing my first radio job at, at Hot 106. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. A little small station off in the cut, yeah. off of Dunbar Lane. But basically, um, that was the, the starting point for a lot of different artists. Just to go back right quick, you know what I'm saying? It's all about you, but I'm just gonna give a little history check. Um, that's where- is, is, is that where I met you before Mount Zion? That's probably where, yeah, yeah. Cause that was like the hub. Uh, that's when uh, the mob had first popped off. Yeah. Uh, Phil Mob had, had gotten their deal, you know what I mean? Like on fire, that's right. Oh, showing something they never seen. And one of the things that uh that I remembered about you the most is um, the quality of your music, even yeah. back then. Like like the click that you had, uh, y'all were making good music, and I always gravitate towards good music. I mean, because not just because I'm in I'm in the the, the radio business, but I just like good music. Good I like music, to give yeah. respect and credit when credit is due. You know what I mean? So I've been like a fan for a long time. Appreciate it. Um, and like I said, I appreciate you coming through. What's, what's your what's your ritual as far as going in the studio making a song? Oh, my ritual involves. <laughs> let's let's keep it up. Uh, we, we can keep it one hundred, but at the same time, let, let's keep it at a level where you know certain things you might have to leave out. Is it beat first then write, or is it write then pick a beat? No writing at all. Okay. No writing at all. I do it all in my head. I used to write. I wish I could write because I would have way more music mm -hmm. than I have now. But once I got away from the pen and was able to do it so good in my head, I just, I can't do it. That's I, amazing. And man. I did, I think I did have it turning like 50 minutes. Really? Yeah. Listen to our so speaking of heavy turn, what uh what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cut to that video yeah. man, since this is the takeover. Yeah, home team takeover I took over. It's over with, it's mine now. So go ahead and introduce that oh, for the people. Oh man, this is a very special song to me. Um had me turn. <laughs> like this is my jam right here. When DJ play my song, I really be turned up. And it feel it feel good for people to a song like this to touch so many people. Like people say, man, I work out to your song. It really it gets me moving, it gets me moving. That's why I made it. So 229, Georgia, Southwest Georgia, everywhere, this had me turn. Uh, directed by Shorty Spielberg. Um, who else did work in this video? Baby Juice. Uh, yeah, Baby Juice, um, Ski, Ski Ski 229 did some work. And he's an actual uh, producer, engineer, but you know, like we all wear different hats around here. Like, so here you go, had me turn, turn up with me. Turn up, turn up. 
when we pull up to your club, club. that's VIP. VIP, send your very best waitress, tell her come see by me, I pull up fast, bop like I ain't seen no line, I got me a bag, call me the pilot, boy we about to go fly, see me a pretty young thing, standing in the mirror, shaking her ass off, like she about to blast off, hope she ain't taking no bells off, baby, I can put you on this line, then she disappeared in the crowd, red bone going ham in the VIP, looking like girl going wild, I know what street money look like, cause I be living that jug, little bit of nigga, small like pop, but I know nigga like sure, you drank that rose, I chose to rock, press the cushion, roll it now, all we do is turn up, Turn up, no, ain't no hole in that. I hit the lean, hit the gas. That shit had me, turn me, turn. Three different types of rock. That shit had me, turn me, turn. Shout it, drop and start busting. That shit had me, turn me, turn. The DJ played my damn song, and that shit had me, turn me, turn. That shit had me, turn me, turn. That shit had me, turn me, turn. I hit the lean, hit the gas. That shit had me, turn me, turn. That shit had me, turn me, turn. That shit had me, turn me, turn. Three different types of rock. That shit had me, turn me, turn. That shit had me turn me turn. That shit had me turn me turn. Shout it, drop the star, bust it. That shit had me turn me turn. That shit had me turn me turn. That shit had me turn me turn. The DJ played my damn song, and that shit had me turn me turn. Not only uh, do you write your own lyrics and make music, you also. Uh, I see how you branched out into the videography as yeah, well too. Like, did. how did you how did you get into that? Like, what? Um, when uh when my partner Spielberg came back from Colorado, he before he came, he said, Look, I got this camera equipment, I see y'all doing y'all thing, music inspired me, I'm coming home, we was getting on the video. So he came home and I'm the type of person if I see something enough, I'll catch on to it. So, you know, I got a lot of music and he's very experienced the way he do, so you know, we're doing video after video and I'm just I'm learning it at the same time. This is my partner, so on top of doing this business together. I'm hanging around him, watching him edit, so I'm picking up on that too. So, you pick up this camera and, you know, go run around and see what's going on with this camera too, and I actually fell in love with the art of videography. Is it is it harder than just going to the studio and making a song? Is it another beast? Like, what is it's it like? It's another beast. It's, a, it's another beast because, like, with the music, you're in the studio and you're in your mind. It's what's in your head and your voice. <clears throat> but when you're doing videos, you're like a quarterback. You gotta see everything. You gotta see stuff before it happens and get to the shot. If you want your video to really look like a really good video, so you know you have to really put yourself in your environment that you're shooting in, and then you gotta go and edit. That's a whole nother beast. So it's a it's a fight. So so we have to get that later on. So for uh, if somebody trying to get with you or, or if, if there's some artists that's already got. A song, a hit song got, but they don't have a video. Could they contact you and get Street a video shot? Street TV, you can get your video shot. You can check out some of my work Go on uh, YouTube, Street Dream TV, um, Flame Films, Google Spade Flame. See the work is out there, like some good quality work, and it's right in your neighborhood. Speaking of work, man, uh, what we like to do on the takeover is we like to uh, go ahead and drop some of your videos, you know okay. what I mean, for the people that's that's checking in, that have never had a chance to check out any of your videos, why don't you go ahead and introduce one for me? Um, Whichever one you want to do. I want to, times get rough. I want to show that one. Yeah, right. times get rough. That was, a, that was a beast right there. That was like one of the first videos that I directed and edited. Of course, my partner Spielberg shot it, but um, it's, we had a lot of hours in there. A lot of hard work, it's a, and it's a, one of those videos that really started to step the video game up around town. Okay. You could, it, it kind of made it hard to just put a camera in front of you and shoot a video. You had to actually do something in your video. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, um, you check it out right here, right now. Times get rough, spade flame, uh, directed by Shorty Spielberg. Here you go. I'm just sending yo, doing my little thing. You did, yeah. Jet vibe and dolo, you know what I mean? Spade flame. You already know how it is. Times get rough, times get rough. You gotta keep a move on. Time on the way. You blank, then it's another day. Oh. Real shit. Shit ain't always easy, man. Nigga be going through a different way you don't even know about. Shit this out, though. Uh, we point fingers, but who really to blame? I'm just trying to apply what I learned from the game. And the game so cold, got me in a 
another mode. Feel like I'm spiraling out of control. I roll, then I smoke a red low. Just trying to get a grip. No bananas on the ground, but I slip. I'm trying to regain balance. The king of the palace. Remember all the times while well, I slept on the palace. Moving in and out of all different places. Face it. If they just keep praying. My nigga, you playing. I can't get by off the change that they paying. I'm about to cop the work, break it down, then I slang it. You already know how it is. When times get rough, times get rough. You gotta keep a move on. It's time on the way. You blank, then it's another day. Fast. One sure fact, you can't get it back. Hard to keep it in the road when you're going off track. Got me leaning low off in the lap with the dog tent. I'm grinding hard trying to seal by my three year old. And trying to cope, got me smoking on the Keisha Cole. They tell me call a psychic, but I don't believe in old. Don't want to see the future, I just let this shit up. But I ain't gon' send it flex like it's all bad. Sometimes mama call me and I don't call back. I'm sitting thinking to myself, I need to call that. I barely talk to my sister, now what you call that? I'm making antisocial or am I just a loner? We gotta face reality even though we don't wanna. I light another blunt and look up at the stars. I often do this when shit get hard for your heart. You already know how it is. Time to get up, time to get up. Shit, you get hard sometimes. brings me to uh if you're trying to send music to the show you can send it to 229 takeover at gmail.com that's 229 takeover at gmail.com you can find us on facebook wjiz.com uh give them your uh your handles and all that let them know you know if they're trying to get in contact with you for a feature or a beat or if they just want to holler at you be like hey man i'm a fan you know what i'm saying i just want to get at you man i'm mostly active on my twitter you can follow me at i am flame i a m p h l a m e Instagram, the same thing. You hit me on that, you definitely got me. Cause I'm always on the interacting with the family. You know, that's very important. I actually get out here and work the streets, but I, I make sure I stay active on the social media. I get on the stage, I'm doing my thing. I got on the radio, got a little fame. I'm doing most of it just for promotion, so I still do it to try to maintain. I'm stuck in the gutter, like I'm on side of the road, waiting to get in my lane. I'm making the play out the bundle, but I can't afford to be in them chains. When I go back to doing the shit that I left, I promise I broke when I changed. The people who judge me ain't been in my shoes, I wonder what they do the same. When I'm in the street, the shit that I see with my eyes go to my brain. It go to my fill up my heart and nurture my soul and flow right through my vein. Right through my vein. When I get in the studio, it go reverse and come out the same. When I speak the flame, keep breaking them down from grounds to grammys to get out the game. For a long time, I've been hustling in the game. And they tell me don't change and don't try.